This reading is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing is to be taken as fact. Hi guys, I don't usually do an intro to the videos because I'm not really good at editing and meshing videos together, but I will try to do my best to do that for this reading. So I'm coming to you before the reading because I did a reading for Clinton. Today is November 1st, 2022. During the reading, two things came out. There was a reference to Bob Dylan's song. What was it? In the stairway. Bob Dylan standing in the doorway. So the particular card actually said, lie on the floor and listen to Bob Dylan standing in the doorway, which I did. Okay, a lot came out in that song for me, but I want you guys to listen to it for yourself before actually watching this video and see if you can get any messages from that. But the basic line in the song says, you left me standing in the doorway crying. And it's something about midnight at nighttime. Now, I'm coming to you because that came out in a reading and also it brought our attention to a Hindu god by the name of Ganesh. And I'm not familiar with Hindu guys, so please forgive me if I have pronounced it wrong. I am not trying to be disrespectful to anyone's religion, but it is spelled G-A-N-E-S-H and it is often also referred to as G-A-N-E-S-H-A. Ganesha or Ganesha or G-A-N-E-S-A, -E Ganesha or G-A-N-A-P-A-T-I, Ganapati. All right, guys, so please go look up that as well. It's an actual fable of Ganesha and I read, I am on the World History Encyclopedia. If you are interested, you can go to www.worldhistory.org slash Ganesha, G-A-N-E-S-H-A. Again, that is www.worldhistory.org backslash Ganesha. And I am just dumbfounded, guys. The story of Ganesha is just crazy. But to just give you an overall gist of what it is, it speaks of two people having a son and um, the father wasn't aware that it was his child. Try not to get too caught up in those details, but the basis of it is you have two parents and you have a child. So the father was away. He comes home and he finds out that he has a child and he is upset by it. So this woman actually created her child by using the earth. She molded him into the shape of a boy. It's significant for this reading because the question I was asking when that card came out is, where is Quentin? So again, as we all have been picking up, we do feel like he is in the earth or he is on land or he is on some type of property. So the story further goes on to say that the son was taken out. You guys know what taken out means. Um, he was taken out by the, this man, this man's demons actually tried to take him out. Um, his head was removed. He was beheaded while the mother was in the bathtub. This is what the story actually says. It says she asked the brother to watch the child while she was in the bath. Now, Ganesha was greedy. Ganesha liked sweet things. Ganesha liked to eat candy and cookies and donuts and sweets. So, ugh, this is so crazy, guys. So, it says, the father, when he came home, he found his son. Again, he's outraged. He sends the demons after the boy. It says the youngster easily held his own against the fearsome adversaries. And then um, it was another God there that was forced to intervene. While the boy was distracted, it says that 
he was beheaded. And in that commotion, the mother came from her bath. She had a fight with this man for taking out her son. So the story goes on to say that, you know, they, they found a new head for Ganesh and it was the first animal that was available was an elephant. I don't know if that's important. Maybe Quentin may be drawn to elephants. He may have liked elephants, but of course I have no way of verifying that. So it says he gained a new elephant head and he became one of the most distinctive Hindu gods. And this was as a reward for him having the courage to fight the demons of this man. And as a result, he was made a leader, which is where his name come from. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole story, but I would like to point out one other fact. So Ganesh had a brother. And as they grew up, there was a competition and the competition was to see who would marry first. So the brother, he set out, you know, on a journey to try and find his bride wanting to win the contest right away. But Ganesh was smart. And it says that Ganesh actually went to his parents' home. Keep in mind, I'm asking where Quentin is. And this is what was given to us. It says, Ganesh went to his parents' home. He embraced them. He quoted the line from the sacred Vedas. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, V-E-D-A-S. That means he who embraces his parents seven times gains the merit of encircling the world seven times. He was declared the winner. So he promptly married not one, but two daughters of someone else. I can't pronounce these names, y'all with whom he had two sons. So here's the really interesting part for me. So despite being a Hindu deity, Ganesh also has something of a reputation for greediness. So could this be Quentin? Could Quentin have gotten into something in the kitchen and um, he was reprimanded possibly by one of the parents, specifically the father in this particular story? says one day after eating a few too many sacrificial cakes, Ganesh decided to take a ride on his giant rat to help in his digestion. However, the rat was surprised when he came across a large snake and jumped back with fear. He threw him off of his mount. Ganesh landed on his belly and it burst, hitting on the ground. The cakes from his stomach rolled left, right, and center, but Ganesh, unperturbed, carefully gathered them and stuffed them back into his belly and wound the snake around his midriff to keep it closed. Symbolic of Ganesh's ability to overcome all obstacles, the snake, the cause of the accident in the first place, therefore provided the remedy for the damage it had caused. So, you know, did Quentin get into something? And was he beaten as a result of that? And, you know, it was taken too far? But then when I take this story and I combine it with that Bob Dylan song, you know, was Quentin unsupervised in the kitchen. The door was open. As we know, the door was open in the house. And, you know, was Quentin left alone? And did he get into something? Was he there? Was he afraid? Was he hurt? Did he need help? Did his parents come in and find out that he'd taken something that he wasn't supposed to take? And then they beat him? We don't know, but it's very significant. It came out for a reason. So I hope you guys won't take my word for it. Go check out the story for yourself. Go listen to the song. And again, keep your manifestations positive, guys, that we will find Quentin. Because based on that song that I heard, Quentin is ready to be found, you guys. He's not at peace. He's not at peace. All right, guys. So stay tuned for the video. Sorry to have talked your head off. Hello, hello, welcome to Emperor's Black Tarot. Today we're gonna to be doing a reading on um, Quentin Simon. We're gonna ask for clues as to where Quentin is. All right, so if you are here and you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All right, Spirit, can you please give us clear and concise messages? That would help direct us to Quentin. 
Can you please help us find Quentin? Can you please give us some assistance in locating Quentin? Any information that you can offer will be greatly appreciated. Can you help us locate Quentin? Quentin Simon. That was the maiden card that fell that I put back in, guys. Can you help us locate Quentin? Two more shuffles. Hmm. I'm going to take these, but we'll look at them. We have Lover, The Flame, and Aletheia. And this is kind of like a card of being between both worlds, lovers, two people involved. Both of these cards are representing two energies. Then flame. And then we have the womb. Okay. One, two, three. Let's get one more card. I like evenness. Can you help us? Where is Quentin? Can you give us any indicators of where Quentin is? All right, guys, I'm directly looking at the seed. The seed. So is Quentin planted somewhere? Is Quentin planted somewhere? All right, guys, the seed. Fertile germinating, building. It says beginnings come in many forms. They are not always a beautiful seed placed intentionally in nourishing soil. The beginning, the origin, the pearl, the gem. That's Quentin. He is the seed, but we're asking where is he? We have the unseen, so we he's hidden. We can't see him, guys. The riddle. Absolutely, we're going to have to figure it out. It is a riddle. We'll go back and look at the pictures in just a second. And then we have, uh, excuse me, guys, I don't speak Greek. So if I say it incorrectly, please don't laugh at me. The Natos. Let's see what that's about. Okay, so Thanatos talks about death. <sighs> it talks about grieving, mourning, bearing witness to all that is. Illness. All right. We, then we have the storm. All right, the storm says the chaos, the whirlwind, the disorder. It talks about annihilation, obliteration, tornadoes, meaningless disorder and dysfunction. He's outside the sustainer, the sustainer. The sustainer says abundant, generous, supportive, reliable, 
overworked, resentful, trapped, and tired. The sustainer, the second archetype in the trio of existence, works behind the scenes tending to the tasks of life. They cultivate gardens, pay bills, keep the mills warm and the mouths sweetly fed. The sustainer is at peace in the process of life, knowing that there is no start or finish to humble yet meaningful tasks. They have a natural inclination to nourish others, to archive, to preserve Earth's resources, to consider environmental impact, to see their role in the divine cycle of life. That's a really earthly card as well. Then we have the threshold, guys. When I think about the threshold, you know how people say, you know, you step through the threshold? I feel like he's outside near his house. I've been feeling that and it's coming out in these cards. Let's see what the threshold is about. Okay, the threshold. The door the gate, the initiation, growth, resisting, refusal to grow, barriers, boundaries. He's bound in something. Then it says, go deeper, lie on the floor and listen to standing in the doorway. We might need to listen to that song, guys. I don't know who this is, but it says go deeper, lie on the floor. I'm actually going to do this after this reading. Lie on the floor and listen to Bob Dylan's standing in the doorway. Could be a message there for us. It's something about a gate. Someone had to go to, through a threshold. It says in Hindu mythology, G-A-N-E-S-H, Ganesh is the ultimate gatekeeper. Look to the great elephant God for support. Gatekeeper, gatekeeper, we've heard gate twice. Crossing a threshold may not always be voluntary. Sometimes we are thrown across the boundary through circumstances far beyond our control. Either way, we cannot go back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you show us who did this to Quentin? Can you show us who did this to Quentin? Who did this to Quentin? Who did this to Quentin? Give me some archetypes of the person or persons responsible for why Clinton is missing. Give me some archetypes. Ooh, I'm not gonna take those, but they wanted to come out. Anything else? all right all right so we have the mystic this is someone who is uh, kind of mysterious keep secrets we have someone, the shaman. They would have the ability to be a healer, guys, but this could be the opposite energy if they're in their lower energies. So there's someone here who has caused pain or not, you know, provided healing energy for Quentin. We have the storm coming back out. Someone going through a storm. 
and who may also have a temper issue. The unseen is also coming out. So who aren't we seeing? Who, what's hidden? There's someone that we aren't seeing. In my opinion, we haven't seen Daniel. But this reading is, again, for entertainment purposes only, not to be taken as fact. Everything said in this video is alleged. We have the hunter. Okay. We have the comic, somebody who uh, is a jokester. They think they're funny. We have the stone, y'all. Unbreakable. The mirror. Two energies. The flame. Possibly two lovers. The poet. Someone who's creative. Their career could be something, you know, where they use their creative talents. We have the maiden. We know the maiden is the mother. And we have the animal. Interesting. All right, guys, and I'm sitting here. The last card that's looking at me, it says the mountain. The mountain. Now, this card looks like landfill. That looks like mountains of trash, right? But I don't feel like he's in the landfill. The temple. So is that the deception? Is that what we don't see? He's not there. Maybe. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And this card I didn't see. The venom. Someone very poisonous, guys. Very dangerous. All right, Spirit, can you give us the energy surrounding when we will find Quentin? Will we be finding Quentin soon, or do we still have a little ways to go? Can you give us the energy? When will we find Quentin? We're getting the Four of Cups. I don't like this card we are going to get a couple more cards but this is um letting me know that we are gonna like this is the state that we're in now to be quite honest with you we're over it now we're tired of this like what is being offered to us this cup that is being offered to us a story about what happened to quentin we're not buying it and we're tired of it now, I don't like to quote times, but if I were to take this card as a time card, this would represent four months. Within four months, we'll find Quentin within four months. I hope it won't take the entire four months, but I, I tend not to, like I said, want to accept messages uh, using the time frame because things can change because we can't control what law enforcement does, we can't control whether whoever is involved is going to speak up and, you know, confess. We don't know. So, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I don't like that. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the Hermit. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. If we were to take that as time as well, if we were to look to the last card, this would be nine weeks. Which would be a little bit over two months. But I swear I don't want it to take this long. I don't. But what I'm showing here is that, you know, the police... The searchers, they're working on this, but they're not 
they're not having good luck. They're not reporting to us what's being ha what's being done, but uh, I don't think they found anything yet. And again, we have the, the these people who know exactly what's happened to Quentin, and they're not saying anything. But either way, guys, we have a victory here with this Six of Wands. So that's good news. So I do feel like we will find him. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. That's them going back and forth every day trying to find this baby. And it's wearing them out, y'all. It's wearing them out that they're trying to balance everything by you know taking the weekends off that's that hermit energy so that they can you know build their energy back up but i don't think they really found anything with this wheel of fortune being here in the reverse okay spirit so the L.E. has been searching in the landfill. Have they found any clues in the landfill? Have they found any information in the landfill? Hermit in reverse. Now we have the hermit down here, but we have the hermit in reverse here. Here, and we have the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. That's Quentin. I know what I'm seeing here, but I'm not going to say it yet. I'm going to let it come out on the table. Okay, have the police found anything in the landfill? Can you give us that energy? Oh, there's the page of cups. Have the police found anything? It came back out, but we have the hermit in reverse, y'all. This card is flipping. Now, it's giving us the six of pentacles. Have they found anything? Any evidence or anything in the landfall, the landfill, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and then I have the Strength card in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So I think that they found something in the landfill. However, I don't. It's not Quentin, you know. And as a result of that, they are like. They don't know where to go from here, basically. But they do, they have found some, something, something that belongs to Quentin. What is the Six of Pentacles? The Magician. Who's the Six of Pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune. Uh -uh. The Hangman. I kind of feel like this is also Leilani. She's hermiting as well, guys. But I feel like this is about what she has offered us. The story that she's told us. Where he is. She's been trying to deceive law enforcement. That's why this magician energy is. And time is of the essence, this Wheel of Fortune. So this lets me know that um, she's held them up with this hangman. She's held them up with what she's told them. And unfortunately, guys, the, the longer that this goes on, that is also the longer that evidence is uh, it's not being recovered. That is also, you know, certain things that may or may not have happened to Quentin. 
you know, they may not be able to detect that the longer that this goes on, but with that Wheel of Fortune being here in the upright, I feel like time is running out for whoever is involved here. There's law enforcement, King of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Wands. <sighs> I do see us having some type of communication from law enforcement. They're going to tell us something. I don't feel like it's going to be what we're what we want to hear, but they're going to tell us something. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Two of Cups in reverse. Death. Nine of Cups. They may tell us finally that there is multiple people involved. Yep, I have a masculine and a feminine energy here. Um, we may also find out something that Leilani and Daniel, that they were involved in. I see it here. I ain't gonna say nothing, but it may come out. This could also indicate that the police are just finding this out. And that's going to kind of change the course of the investigation. Now, I, I do see energy here at the end of, you know, satisfaction, but it being a hard acceptance of something that has come to an end. Okay, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm not happy is the energy that I'm getting here. I'm happy, and then it's followed by this Five of Cups. And I have two people here coming out here at the end with the police no longer being confused. I see imprisonment here, y'all, and I see someone serving time, years, I have a feminine energy here and a masculine energy. I actually have a lot of people here, actually. <laughs> I have a couple. I have a king and a queen of cups. I have another feminine energy. And I have two masculine energies showing up. Yep. I have four people here. No, one, two, three, four, five. And I have been getting the five of swords and the five of wands in all of the readings. I think there are at least five people who are involved. I'm not quite sure if the police are going to be able to get evidence on everybody involved, but I think that the most important players will be brought to justice here. But ultimately, when I say that, that doesn't mean that five people actually caused his death. What that means is that there are five people who are directly responsible for why Quentin is not with us right now. So whether that means, this could go a couple of ways. If Quentin got um, out of the house and he went outside and he got into a body of water, there's negligence there. There are the two parents who were there. There are the two parents who left them there with the incompetent parents. And it's my understanding that there was another family member in the house. That's five people right there. If Quentin did not get out of the house, if Quentin actually ingested something, I feel like, again, this if, if he did, it's a family business and the whole family is involved. And as far as adults, I feel like there are five adults who live in that house. Either way, guys, I hope the truth comes out. I did a reading earlier today off camera and I used my own deck and this came out. 
as one of the cards seeing the truth now. I hope that the police, I hope that was for the police. I hope the police are getting down to the bottom of this. I hope they're really finding out what's going on. I do feel like they know more than they are telling us, of course, because if they told us, guys, that would compromise their investigation. So please have hope and faith that the police are doing the right thing. Please have hope and faith that we are going to bring Quentin home. Please have hope and faith, guys, that we will get justice for once. That we will get justice for once in one of these cases. Who, Quentin? All right, guys. Well, that's the video. If you guys are here, you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And please keep manifesting that um, we find Quentin, guys, so that his soul can rest. All right, guys. Be safe. And have a good week.